The images are disturbing, a horse in obvious distress, a fact that cannot be disputed. But how it got there is in dispute. At the center of the controversy is Mike Anderson, a horse trainer from Coston. Uh, there's no story here. There was an unfortunate accident and a horse had to be put down. Pointing the finger at Anderson is Karameas resident Tim Robertson, who openly questions Anderson's training techniques. You got a dead horse here. According to Robertson, prior to its death, the horse was being towed by Anderson from the back of a pickup truck. The horse fell and struck its head, something Anderson doesn't dispute. It's unfortunate. Anderson says he was sitting on the tailgate holding the horse while the truck was rolling, a fact backed up by witnesses. And stories vary as to what Anderson did with the wounded horse after it was returned to the farm. Witness Diane Fitzgerald says she spoke with Anderson shortly after he dropped off the injured animal. Well, he should have notified the owner. He said he didn't know where the owner was. He lived in Grand Fork somewhere. And I said, we should get a hold of somebody. I said, because you're going to have to destroy this horse eventually or do something with it. And that's when he told me he'd go home and say a prayer and, and with his wife or whatever for this horse. And he did, he got in his truck and drove off and never came back until just right around the time the police were coming to destroy the horse. After Anderson left, Robertson showed up and started taking pictures. I jumped over the fence with my camera took a bunch of pictures of the horse down, laying there alive and suffering. Robertson says the RCMP showed up 40 minutes later and put the animal out of its misery. However, Anderson says he left for about an hour and when he returned, the RCMP were on scene and offered to dispose of the animal. Anderson says it's all a big misunderstanding. Uh, I'm involved, so I wish it didn't happen, but uh, the allegations from somebody that has never been present or never saw anything or took part in anything is just foolishness to me. The SPCA says it's looking into the allegations and as far as the RCMP are concerned they say there's no evidence to suggest that Anderson is guilty of any crime. Well so far I don't uh, the horses out of here so appear to be healthy so I'm not overly concerned but the SPCA can come down and take a look and verify for themselves. In Karameas, Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.